Welcome to Cornerstone Horsemanship. I'm Greta Cummings. And I'm Sherry Dill Billings. Hey, we've been working some young horses lately. We have. And if you guys remember, yesterday was a tad bit breezy. But God brought it to us for a reason. It did dry stuff up really fast. Oh, nice. yeah. My lots are finally starting to firm up. But, <laughs> yeah. But I did not ride any colts outside. And if you know why, because... Well, why not? <laughs> Well, you know, when you're riding a cold anyway that finds things to spook at as it is, and then with the wind blowing in their ears, they they can't hear and they just have that, they lose that defense mechanism to from danger. So I saved myself from <laughs> an myself. unpleasant dismount by <laughs> staying in the barn, because the barn was like, she still found things to spook at in the barn, but it was less dramatic. Drama there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but it, it really made me think about spooking mm -hmm. and um, everybody struggles with their horses spooking and have you ever noticed what people do when their horses spook yeah they all go oh my gosh yes oh my gosh or they get mad at their horse That's and then they response. reprimand their horse for spooking for something that, that is a natural response to them because they're scared mm -hmm. so the horse really kind of needs to trust us and trust us to keep them out, and they spook less when they trust us. Absolutely. And and so I kind of broke down yesterday, just with the spooking inside the barn, on what I got to do for my own self-preservation. As you know, I broke my arm off of a spook, not saying it had anything to do with this little filly behind us, but, because she's so beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> I mean, pretty is, is pretty dead, you know, yeah. but, but she's a horse. But she's a horse. And she spooked. She had every right to spook. It was something that was scary to her. She was a baby. And, um, but I didn't have self-preservation. Mm -hmm. I didn't do, you know how in air, airplanes, when the, pilot, the, the flight stewards always say, you put the mask on yourself first and then you help your child? Mm -hmm. That's the same way with spooking. We really need to do self-preservation, keep ourselves balanced in the saddle, and then go back and do the correction or collect your horse to Pick call the them horse down. up. Yeah, and um, we, we're going to do a lot of that in the in the future workshops. Yeah, we're planning a workshop on uh, spooking, how to handle it, how to help your horse work through a spook, and and very importantly, like you said, that self preservation. Mm -hmm. Another thing off of your um, airline example is, I I flew a lot as a child. We did a lot of traveling and. You almost tune out what they do because before every single flight, they go through the, the mask. Same, if yeah. you know the depressurization of the cabin, um, if it's a, a water landing, you know where they find the flotation devices, the emergency exits, mm -hmm. all of that, and they go through it every single time. And also how to buckle up, mm -hmm. and you know, so they they have that ingrained in us. And those of us that fly a lot. You know, we know, okay, if something happens, this is what we do. We have to do the same thing with our horses. Absolutely. We have to program ourselves, get that muscle memory, memory. and, um, and get, our, get, our, get ourselves ready for when it does happen because it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Because they're horses. They're horses, and they're just protecting themselves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you and the horses you ride from, from our barn to yours. yours.